Hello everyone. Tonight we're going to read about ponies. Aren't ponies so much fun? This is a National Geographic kids book, Ponies. It's written by Laura Marsh and it is published by Scholastic. So it has all this stuff about ponies. Can you believe it? All those chapters. It's a pony. Colors and markings. Wild ponies. Caring for a pony. I've been watching a show about a girl and horses, so this is be a fun book. It's a pony. Ponies are special animals. They are beautiful. They are strong. They are kind and loyal. They like to be around people and other animals. Those are cute ponies, aren't they? Why couldn't the pony sing? Because its voice was a little hoarse. <laughs> that cute, funny little horse. What is a pony? A pony is a kind of horse. Horses and ponies are measured by hands. Most pony breeds are 14.2 hands or shorter. Hand equals 4 inches. 14 times 4, if you can figure that one out. So here it shows horse and pony, and it tells us the different parts. A horse has long legs, and a pony has shorter legs. It has a sleek body, and a pony has a wide body. It is tall, and a pony is short. A foal is born. It's springtime. A mare gives birth to a baby pony. The baby is called a foal. Welcome, little one. You see that baby? Isn't he darling? Oh, there's a pony word. A mare is a female horse. Mare is the mama, and a foal is the baby. A foal can stand soon after it is born. It is wobbly on its feet at first. Kind of looks like the legs on Bambi, doesn't it? But this one is a horse, a pony. A foal will run and play before long. Not a cute picture of it running to play. All ponies are called foals in the first year. Then young female ponies are called fillies. And young male ponies are called colts. Ah, oh, did you know that? Football team called the colts. And that's a young pony. Oop, there's a joke there. What did the pony say when it fell? I've fallen and I can't giddy up. <laughs> pony breeds. There are many kinds of ponies all over the world. Here's some of them. Some pony breeds have been around for many, many years. And others are newer breeds. So this one is called a Connemara pony. That one right there. And this one is a Norwegian Ford pony. And this one is an, As I have no idea, Assateague pony. And this one is a Dartmoor pony. And then we have an Exmoor pony and a Section A Welsh mo mountain pony. And that's the Exmoor ponies. Colors and markings. Ponies come in lots of colors, and they can have spotted coats, too. Look at all those different kinds. Different kinds of ponies. Let's see. This one says Palomino, Spotted, Bright Bay, Scoobald. Scoobald. This one says Blue Roan. This one says Chestnut. This one says Dapple Gray. And this one is brown. Those are good pictures. They look like hair, don't they? Okay. Some ponies have white patches of hair. These are called markings. A pony's feet can have a sock or a stocking. So this one's called a sock, and this kind's called a stocking. I guess it goes up farther, right? 
A pony's head can have a blaze, a star, a snip, or a stripe. So this is a blaze. This is a star, a white spot on them. This one is a snip down here. And this one is a stripe. Wild ponies. There are still wild ponies today. A herd of wild ponies lives in Maryland and in Virginia in the USA. They are called Chincoteague and Assateague ponies. They are called Chincoteague and Assateague ponies. The herd has been around for more than 500 years. A herd is a large group of animals that live together. It says that down there in the text box. Wild ponies are not given food or shelter, they run free. Shelter is a place, a safe place for them to live. These ponies just run free on their own. Ponies in the past. Ponies in the past were used for work. Ponies pulled carriages around towns and they carried people and things. Ponies also worked on farms, in the mountains, and in coal mines. So there's some pictures from the past. It's a carriage, women riding in a carriage with a pony. And here is a farmer with a pony. Ponies today. Ponies today are still used for work, but mostly people ride and enjoy them. People ride ponies in shows and races. They ride ponies on trails. They even ride them on vacations. That girl looks like she's really enjoying it. And here they are in shows, and jumping a pony, and on vacation. Caring for a pony. Ponies make great pets, but they are a lot of work. They are. Every day, a pony needs fresh food and water, exercise, brushing, and cleaning. Riding. The work is done, now it's time to ride. You will need special clothes. These clothes protect you and the pony. There's a riding helmet. There are special pants, there are boots, riding boots, and gloves. See, she's got it all on. A helmet, gloves, the pants, and the boots. What in the world? These pictures show close-up views of pony things. Use the hints below to figure out what's in the pictures. Do you remember what that pony marking is called? It rhymes with gaze. A pony rider sits here. Number three, a baby pony is called this for the first year. Oh look, here are the words that we can use. A mane, a blaze, a helmet, a saddle, a star, and a foal. I bet that that is blaze, because that rhymes with gaze. Saddle for number two, and foal for number three. Number four, you need to wear this when you ride. Keeps your head safe in case you fall off. It's a helmet. Number five says... A pony's neck has long hair. You know what that's called? A mane. And number six says, this pony marking rhymes with car. That's called a star. And then they have a glossary at the back of the book. Remember, we had a table of contents at the beginning. And at the back, you have this thing called a glossary, and it tells you what words mean. 
And this one's really cool because it's a picture glossary. Shows us a picture. A breed is a group of animals that have similar features and look alike. Those do kind of look alike. A herd is a large group of animals that live together. A mare is a female horse. And shelter is a safe place that gives protection from bad weather. He's cleaning up after a horse. And that's the end of our book today called Ponies. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you again tomorrow.